Hello everyone and welcome back to the AMAC. On today's show we are going to have our weekly devotional reading and it is going to be from Psalms 62 5. My hope comes from Him. So often we simply neglect to look for the answers to what we have asked, which shows the lack of earnestness in our petitions. A farmer is never content until he reaps a harvest. A marksman observes whether or not his bullet has hit his target, and a physician examines the effect of the medicine he prescribes. Should a Christian be any less careful regarding the effect of his labor in prayer? Every prayer of the Christian, whether for temporal or spiritual blessings, will be fully answered if it meets certain biblical requirements. It must be prayed in faith and in accordance with God's will. It must rely on God's promise, be offered up in the name of Jesus Christ, and be prayed under the influence of the Holy Spirit. God always answers the general intent of his people's prayers. He does so not only to reveal his own glory, but also to provide for the Christian spiritual and eternal welfare. Since we see in Scripture that Jesus Christ never rejected even a single petitioner who came to him, we can believe that no prayer made in his name will be in vain. The answer to our prayer may be coming, although we may not discern its approach. A seed that is underground during winter, although hidden and seemingly dead and lost, is nevertheless taking root for a later spring and harvest. Delayed answers to prayer are not only trials of faith, they also give us opportunities to honor God through our steadfast confidence in Him, even when facing the apparent denial of our request. Charles H. Spurgeon that is another wonderful devotional greeting, and I hope you all enjoyed that. And speaking of prayer, uh, everyone, remember Israel right now, and also the United States, as you have all been hearing in the news for some time now, and I keep up with Israel news. So, I have been deep in prayer for Israel for well over two years uh, because of the escalations in the Middle East presently um, at large. And so, please, um, to all my subscribers who pray and to those who see this video, remember Israel and keep them in your prayers and America too as well. Relations with America and Russia are not looking good right now. They, um, it was running more, rather more smoothly during the um, Trump administration, 
there didn't seem to be these problems of disrespect. You know, we have world leaders, you know, threatening other, you know, threatening all the way over to Russia. It's immature, childlike behavior, and we need to pray for uh, the one in the White House right now. Uh, you know, uh, he's escalating the situation, making it much, much more worse. And, you know, uh, none of us want to see a, a third war. And, you know, it, it's not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. So, please, with all that said, uh, keep that in mind in your prayers. And uh, stay tuned for some other exciting videos coming up soon. We have some great stuff uh, in line and ready to record. And I think you all are going to just love it. And I know you may, some of you may wonder, you know, why in the world does she do these devotionals? What does this have to do with art? And I've been meaning to touch base on that as well. You know, the art of God's Word, you know, should be our foundation, you know, period. You know, without a strong foundation, you know, it's going to crumble. You know, we have to stand firm in our faith, especially this day and time. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, you know, like the old saying goes, if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. And so we don't want to be falling, and I by far am not perfect. But I just, you know, we're here to encourage one another and, you know, be kind and respectful to one another and you know as I said before you know it didn't we weren't hearing this in the news you know uh, we had, were having great relations with North Korea you know and suddenly there is a wave a ripple effect being happening over in the Middle East of you know our leader Commander-in-Chief, I'm just going to go ahead and say it because it's a fact, you know, he's making a lot of people mad at the United States very quickly, and we really need to pray for him, you know, arrogancy and being overconfident and disrespectful is a poor example, you know, for leadership, and you know, it shouldn't be done, you know, because nuclear war is a real thing. And, you know, perhaps one day we're going to do a show and go more further into, you know, what the Bible says about the third war. And that is a show I have not forgotten about. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoy this week's devotional reading, and as always, and until we all meet again, may God bless you, and God keep you.